Hey y'all, Amber here with Yarny Quals Crochet. Thank you so much for joining me today. I would like to talk about some crochet hooks that I just added to my collection that I can't believe I've waited this long to do this, but if you don't recognize these already, let me introduce you to the Clover Amour crochet hook set and my one little Clover soft touch. Now to begin, let me start by saying that I thought that there was just a lot of hype around the Clover crochet hooks. You know, even individually, you know, these right here are around $10 for one hook. These are around eight. Other than them just being aesthetically pleasing, I thought, you know, these can't be all that great. I mean, you know, I, I just kind of thought that there was a lot of hype around these. So I bought a five millimeter of each because I wanted to try them out. And then I kind of forgot that I had them. So I got them out recently and used both of them on some projects. And I was very impressed by both of these. Now I am not going to do a review of the clover crochet hooks because there are so many youtube videos out there right now that are so much better than any review video that i could do for you so if you want a really good thorough review of these i would suggest that you try jada and stitches she had a good one and be hooked on youtube also had a good one and i will go ahead and tell you that tony with to yarn crafts is an advocate of the clover hooks, especially, you know, for beginners and even for seasoned crocheters because they just work that well. And I, like I said, I was ridiculously impressed by how great these worked. And I actually used this hook to create this beanie here. This is the braided beanie. And I made this for donation out of Premier Anti-Peeling DK Stripes. This is in the Colorway Tapestry. And it worked up so beautifully. If you like this hat pattern, this is not mine. I did not create this. This was a free pattern from the website called Hooked on Homemade Happiness. She has a lot of free beanie patterns on there that are not difficult. Like this looks like it's very difficult. But it's, it's really not. I made this thing very quickly using this hook. And it worked like a dream. I, I was completely sold on both of these. To such a degree that I had been keeping an eye on the Joanne website. Because I was waiting for them to go on sale. I could have got these from Amazon. But let me tell you why I did not get these from Amazon. Because... When I was looking through the reviews for other people that had bought the Amours, there were a fair number of reviews where people said that they got knockoffs and they showed comparison photos, you know, side-by-side -side photos of like maybe the one clover hook they actually had with the one that they got in their clover set package from Amazon and they were not the same and it made me nervous. I wanted the real deal. So I just kept checking the Joanne Fabrics app and the Joanne website and eventually they sent through, I couldn't believe my luck, they sent through a 60% off a non-sale item coupon. This set minus the soft touch and minus one of these because I already had it. So it came with 10 crochet hooks beginning with size, I think it's 2.25. Yes, 2.25 up to this brown one, which is a six millimeter. These run about $80 full price. And let me go ahead and tell you, these hooks are that good that even if you did pay full price for them, they would completely be worth it. And you're getting 10 hooks for $80, which really is not bad. I mean, that's actually quite fair. 
but I was able to get a 60% off coupon and I got these for $36 to $37 and I could not believe it. So I snatched them up and I also got this crochet hook case from Amazon. It's hardback, which is exactly what I wanted because I wanted something that was going to give the hooks some protection when they're in my uh, craft bag because I take my bag sort of all over the place in the house. I work on projects in different rooms and I wanted something that had some protection because the other new crochet hooks that I got are from Furls and Furls, those hooks are very fragile. You have to be careful with them. I paid $12 for this. I got uh, the one that's a little bigger and I have to give complete credit to Jennifer with Cinnamon Stitches. She got a case that is pretty much exactly like this one, except it's just a tad bit smaller. But these furls hooks fit in here, no problem. I mean, I could even slide another one in there and they fit. I was able, I did do a test and I was able to get... I think eight furls hooks in here and it would close and zip all the way and they're in there snugly these are not going to get broken which means if I'm working on a project I can I feel so much better carrying these hooks around knowing that they're in this case some of the furls hooks I had for a while and I just had not used them because I was afraid I was going to break them and that, that scared me. I started with the wood hooks. I got um, a set of five of those for Christmas one year when they had a really good sale. And I really like them. I love the way that they feel in the hand. I love the ergonomics about these hooks. But it seemed like the wood hooks were a bit snaggy. And that was kind of a downer. Um, it seemed like it slowed me down a little bit. But I recently used some of my wood hooks on some superwash merino yarn for a blanket that I'm making. And if I remember, I'll put a picture for you up here in the corner so you can see the um, mystery crochet along blanket that I've been making for the entire year. So we're on the last few months and it's looking so good. I really like it and it feels great. But I grabbed the four millimeter, yes, this G hook here to use. I would just wanted to give it a shot because it's not my habit to use my furls hooks because I've been too afraid to use them because I thought they were going to break, which brings me back to why I bought you this case right here. And I also recently, this was the only furls resin hook that I had for quite some time. This is from the Aquarius line and blue is my favorite color and this hook is just gorgeous. I absolutely love it. Cannot say enough good things about it. And I used this hook recently to make a beanie hat for a family member and it worked like a dream. Like it sold me on these resin hooks. So I was like, you know what? I want to build my collection up on some of these. So I grabbed a few more because they had a sale. Uh, the one that I'm using currently on a project is this J hook right here. It's a six millimeter. I just got it in the mail last week. And this is, I think it's Polaris. I could be completely wrong though. Forgive me if I am. But it is pink. It is sparkly. It is shimmery. These are hand poured. And as soon as I opened this hook, I was like, oh yeah. Like, I love this this. I have to use it. So I'm currently using this to make a pet bed out of some polyester yarn, the uh, Bernat twist yarn for my cats. And it, it works just fine with polyester yarn. The next one that I got is this 5.5 millimeter. And this is the colorway Andromeda. It is, this hook surprised me on how pretty it is. To be honest, this was not my first choice. This was not the colorway I wanted, but Furls was having a really good sale, buy two, get one free, and 
I was limited on the selection they had left on this particular size. So I took a chance, got this one, and it is so much prettier in person than it is on their website. Like this blue is so light and muted. And I mean, it's a bit translucent as well. Like you can almost see through it just a little bit, but you can see the swirls and then this peach color up here at the top. It is so pretty. I, I was very, very pleasantly surprised with how much I liked this one because I honestly didn't expect to. Now this right here is Jupiter. This is the five millimeter that I got and I knew I wanted this one because it makes me think of a pumpkin spice latte. It is so pretty and it is shimmery with the gold glitter. It's completely smooth. You can't feel any of this glitter. The only thing you can feel is the little indentations from where the sizing is. But each hook looks different because these are hand poured. They're all not going to look the same. But this is from the fall crochet hook line that Furls has been releasing. And I'd had my eye on this one and on Polaris for a couple of weeks. I really wanted them, could not justify getting them. And then they had the buy two, get one free. And I was like, yep. Okay. Now, because just in case someone asks these hooks here, I got these because I was trying to find a wood hook that was not going to be snaggy and have a lot of drag. So I found these at my local yarn shop. This is Brispun, B-R-Y-S-P-U-N, uh, Forest Palmwood. I got a four millimeter, a 3.5, and a five. Now, here's my problem with these. And I don't know how I didn't notice it at the yarn shop. They're very smooth. They're very light. Um, the sizing is stamped on here. It's not engraved, so yeah. But the way that I hold my hooks, though, that stamping doesn't really rub against my hand. So I'm hoping that'll stay on there. I don't know if I'm going to use these hooks, though, because here's my problem, y'all. Up here at the top, there's not a whole lot of space to pick up multiple loops. Like, you're very limited. But look at how this tapers. Look how wide this gets. Now, compare this to the 5 millimeter with the clover and look at the width of the neck there like look how much bigger that is going to make my loops and my stitches like, that's crazy and then let's grab the um five millimeter for the furls and compare that with it too i mean look how much thicker that neck is I mean, that sizing is going to be completely wrong. But if you put the clover and the furls up here together, they're relatively the same. The furls looks like it might be just a tad bit wider. But it's not the significant difference that you see with this one. And I didn't notice it until I got home with these hooks and tried to use them. And it just felt weird. Like, I didn't like it. <laughs> at all and this is how the hooks came this was the packaging variant they just slide in and out i mean they're not very expensive you can see i only paid seven dollars and 85 cents per hook so they weren't that bad expensive but so i was i was let down and i cannot believe i didn't notice this when i was at the yarn shop or i would never have bought those hooks I don't know about you all, but I am a complete believer in these Clover Amore hooks. I mean, they they were expensive, but I got a good deal on them. And if you want to set, keep an eye on those coupons from Joann's. I'm sure they'll do more, especially with the holidays coming up. And if you'd like a set for yourself, that's great. Because these Furls hooks, just like the Clover hooks, they're an investment. But you have to keep in mind, these are our tools. This is what we use. And you want what's going to work. You want what's going to be reliable and what is not going to give you hand fatigue. And with the ergonomics of the furls hook and the ergonomics of the clover hooks, 
zero hand fatigue. All right, y'all, that's it. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate it. And I will see you on the next one. And until then, happy yarn crafting.